Hi everybody and welcome back to Lost Genre Reddit Stories. And before we get started, I'd like to ask that you please consider giving this video a like or a comment if you have enjoyed it. It helps my videos rank so you can see them in your feed. Now let's get started with today's story. This post is from the subreddit Relationships and it's by user Philly Selfie. Sister-in-law 25 female announced the birth of my 29 female baby to the world without my knowledge three years ago. Still hurts. So my sister-in-law is a generally lovely person. She has pretty standard suburban aspirations. All she wants and needs in life is a picket fence, two and a half kids and lots of attention. Pretty much everything she does is for the benefit of her social media and others impressions of her. When my daughter was born, it was quite a traumatic birth and I was in surgery for some time afterward. Hours, not sure how many. At that time, my husband called around with the news that the baby was born. It was our first child and neither of us realized exactly how traumatic the birth had been at the time. So I wake up in the middle of the night after surgery in the special care unit. My mom and husband are there and I manage a few groggy sentences before passing out again for the night. The next morning I finally looked at my phone. Text messages from some of my best friends. Congratulations! Can't believe I found out on Facebook. My heart sank. Facebook notifications are all over the place. Sister-in-law has tagged you in a post. All these people you don't know have liked or commented on a post you're tagged in. The stupid thing is, in the middle of some contractions the previous day, I thought to myself, must tell husband to tell sister-in-law not to post anything on Facebook. No, that's silly. She wouldn't do that. It's not her baby. I didn't know what to do. People were coming out of the woodwork with nice, sincere congratulations. My childhood ballet teacher had commented, the damage was done. I couldn't make her take it down, it had been up for hours and everyone already knew. I told my husband how hurt I was and he said she was just excited and it was nice but that, yes, she probably should have asked before posting anything. You think? Since then, on every special occasion, she would ask my husband to send her a photo of the baby. And like clockwork, the photo would then appear on her Facebook with some insincere paragraph about the baby's first Father's Day or baby's first Easter, whatever. I told them to delay sending photos until the end of the day to see what happened. And she'd just make a collage of old photos and post that on Facebook instead. Meanwhile, hassling him via text for a new photo. We made a private Facebook group of just family to share photos, but she didn't get the hint. So we explicitly told her not to put photos of our baby up anymore. She stopped, but she keeps doing it on Instagram because she knows we don't use it. I bring this up now because sister-in-law's sister-in-law just had a baby and wouldn't you know it? Eight, eight photos of her with the baby on Facebook. She is holding the baby and looking at the baby, holding the baby, looking at the camera. With her scarf on, she holds the baby. With her scarf off, she holds the baby, holding the baby with her boyfriend behind them. And all the comments are like, congrats on the new auntie and uncle. It suits you guys. Are you having a baby next? Winky tongue out face. I am livid and I don't even know the situation. I don't know if sister-in-law's sister-in-law got to announce the birth first or not. I don't know if she was okay with the attention-seeking Facebook post, but it opened up a lot of old hurt that hasn't gone away. Sister-in-law is a lovely person who I get along with great, but she took away the chance for me to tell my friends and family about the birth of my child. It's the most hurtful thing anyone has ever done to me. And I don't think she even thinks it's a big deal or even remembers she's done it for that matter. How can I feel okay about this? Well, OP, I would think that the only way that you can get proper closure regarding this thing if it really bugs you this much still, which I agree with, is for her to apologize to you, acknowledge that what she's done wasn't about the baby or anything like that, that it was just for attention seeking because she clearly needs it, and to just stop doing it altogether. Additionally, I think you need to have a very serious conversation with your husband because 
It can't be that on one side you're pissed about this and you tell him that you're pissed about this and he keeps feeding her pictures. And if we're being very honest here, I think he should be the one to shut her down. He should be the one to tell her, hey, you gotta quit this thing. My kid is not a prop for you to be getting likes or comments on Facebook or Instagram if you need it that much. Go have your own kid. But then I'd feel really sorry for that kid to be paraded around social media just so mommy can get her likes. Now, the other option that you have is a little bit more nuclear, but I like it a lot more, which is you just call her out on her own post. Next time she posts something of your daughter on Instagram or whatever, you write a comment on there so that everybody that's giving her likes and comments will see. And the comment should read something like, Hey sister-in-law, please stop uploading pictures of my child. I've told you more than once that I don't like it and my child is not a prop for you to use on social media. I guarantee that all the posts will be down in seconds and she'll never post another picture of your child again because, well, you called her out and attention seekers don't like negative attention. And what do you guys think about OP's predicament? How would you go about trying to solve it? Let me know in the comment section and now let's move on to the community comments to see what they said. Deleted says, if you send her any more photos, which I wouldn't, I would put a huge watermark smack in the middle of it like, not for social media, in a way that she can't easily crop or edit it out. And OP responds, ha, good idea. I don't send any, but my husband does, especially if the kids are wearing outfits auntie bought them. Luckily, he is a crappy photographer, so she wouldn't be too tempted to share them anyway. And to be honest, she has pretty much stopped sharing images publicly since we explained the purpose of the private Facebook group. She will also screenshot Skype conversations, which I find moderately invasive. Crushed Lacroix Khan says, I honestly can't believe you haven't talked to her about it already. I think it would help you immensely to let her know that her actions, no matter how innocent she thought they were, were hurtful to you. Get it off your chest and move forward. And OP responds, At first, I just didn't know what to say, or if maybe I was overreacting with everything else that was going on. Then, I felt like it was up to my husband to say something to her, but he is a pacifist and would rather just let it be. Eventually, I made him call her on baby's first birthday, telling her not to repost the original announcement and that it had really hurt. But I wasn't part of the conversation and it never came up again. I guess I'm missing some closure or something, but it just feels too late now. Like, I've been secretly obsessing over this silly thing for years. New Pinecones says, Have you ever talked to her directly and told her how hurt you were and still are? If you can't talk, send her a link to this post. And OP responds, I actually haven't. I figured my husband should be the one to talk to her and he called her on my baby's first birthday to tell her not to share the original post again and that it had hurt me. But knowing him, he would have downplayed it a lot to spare her feelings, so I'm not sure she entirely got the message. I'm fighting the urge to comment on her gallery of photos with her new niece, asking if she made sure the mom and dad had a chance to announce the good news first. Additional information from Opie's comments. Instant feedback and validation is her thing for sure. She is able to cultivate this image of herself that isn't quite true to life. Sure, she's living through us a bit and I might have more sympathy if, for example, she had tried to have kids unsuccessfully. But she's in a relationship headed towards moving in, getting engaged, getting married and having kids. She was clogging up my feed when she got a boyfriend and kept tagging him in gross couple memes like This is so me, this is so us and the monthly anniversary gratitude posts with a slideshow of pictures. Jeez. It's still driving me crazy anyway. So she didn't get engaged, married, buy a house, start a new job, win an award, lose heaps of weight this week. She will find someone who didn't piggyback off them. I unfollowed her on Facebook years ago. We're all stories and pictures to her. I have 5 million other examples of times she's acted like this. She's the sort of person to lay out her birthday presents and post photos of them. Hashtag blessed. She just lives for the likes and the easiest way to get them is through major life events. We are, luckily, limited in exposure to her and that whole side of the family. They all live across the country. 
I just want her to grow up, but I think the growing up trajectory she's on is towards more online attention seeking for the rest of her days. Lord help us all when she has kids. Lord help those kids. Alright, well the community is telling OP that she should tell her sister-in-law to just stop it. And I agree with them. I also have to say, and maybe this is just because I'm a grumpy person, but the sister-in-law sounds incredibly annoying. I would have unfollowed her a long time ago as well. And maybe this is me just being a sour person, but those month anniversary posts really annoy the crap out of me for one particular reason. Anniversary comes from the Latin annum, which means year. You cannot have a month anniversary. But again, that's just bitter me. Anyways, let's move on to the update, but before that, once again, if you're enjoying the video, please go ahead and click that like button. It does help grumpy old me. Now let's move on to that update. So this is just a tiny update. It's my daughter's birthday and sister-in-law has posted a flipping slideshow of images of my daughter on her Facebook page with a long, long paragraph about her special bond with her mini-me. For context, we live on opposite sides of the country and they have the same eye color, so that's a bit of a stretch. Sister-in-law has been told and told again that we have set up a private Facebook group for the kids to share this kind of things. Over the past maybe year, she has been pushing the boundaries of this by reposting old photos, which we let slide. I'm just mad because this slideshow is all photos she didn't take, including at least one grainy screenshot of a photo taken by my photographer friend. Of events in my daughter's life she wasn't there for, that she has downloaded from the private page, interpersed with the photos she does have of herself and my daughter. I get that she's just excited, loves her nieces, misses them and wishes she could be a part of their big days, but can't. It's sweet that she made a whole slideshow and heartfelt paragraph, but on the other hand, I'm so irate that she keeps using my kids to fish for likes and attention without my knowledge or permission. I'm sick of trying not to hurt her feelings when we bring this up. We're always like, oh hey, it's so nice and thoughtful that you made that photo collage on Facebook for baby's first St. Patrick's Day. What the actual F? But maybe next time, just post it in the private group that we set up for you because you can't live a moment of your life without putting it online. Anyway, I'm so done with this whole thing that this time I really, really had a hard conversation with my husband. He is aware that his first reaction will be to keep the peace, but that this is really hurting me and I feel like I can't always rely on him. Particularly if it means rocking the boat in a situation like this one. Honestly, I've held back this long because my husband is all, she's my sister, I'll talk to her, I'll sort it out. But he has done a crappy job, so I'm just flat out reporting any posts of my kids now. We are usually a great united team about everything, but when I bring up his baby sister, he turns into an overprotective big brother. However, this time, we had it out and he heard me. We told her we don't want our kids' photos up for people we don't know to see. That's what our private group is for. She said she accidentally posted it on her own page rather than the private group. It's so weird how it was also accidentally on her Instagram. She took it down, didn't apologize, seems oblivious to how this is a big deal and probably thinks we're just being killjoys. However, I will also be contacting Facebook from now on to have them remove the images. And not even saying anything. Let her wonder why they keep magically disappearing. I also changed both of our Facebook settings and got Instagram to be on the safer side. Now, I know she can try to get pictures of our kids from other people, and we've already seen some of that. I know for a fact she has her notifications set for whenever someone posts in the private group, and she downloads all photos immediately to show her mom and grandma. I am okay with this, not something I would do though. Otherwise, sometimes I do let people post pictures of my kids publicly, I post pictures of them sometimes. My friend, who is a photographer, does it sometimes. Double standard, maybe, but they're my kids and I can decide. So there you have it. It was maybe more of a vent, but still, thanks for all the input. 
Well, OP, I gotta say, I don't think it's a double standard. I think you're right. They're your kids and you get to decide. And if somebody asks you like, hey, I've got these pictures from the other day that we were all together. Your kids are on it and I'd like to upload them because my kids are there too or I'm there too or something like that. Would you be okay with that? Then you get to say yes or no, but your sister-in-law isn't even giving you that option. And she's not actually trying to share something. She just wants the feedback, the likes. It is sad, but it's incredibly annoying as well. So good for you on having that conversation with your husband and beginning to shut this thing down. So thank you so much for sharing and here's wishing you the best in the future. Take care, OP. Now let's finish this video with a mood booster post. This post is from the subreddit Malicious Compliance and it's by user Yogi the Kitty 4 The title must fit the job. So I started here at the company and I'm about two years or a little less. I was just a lackey pulling decent hours, doing manual labor and helping keep the pace on our receiving end with the boys over there and got quite close and friendly with that bunch of guys. We drove forklifts to lift heavy things into storage bins and crates. It's pretty easy but also a tasking labor. About three months in, I'm dragged into a meeting with my boss, his boss and his boss. They ask if I'd like to learn more and get the opportunity to grow inside the company. I know the corporate jargon for growth and more money, so obviously I said yes. Within the next two months, I was trained on every lift and operable machine we used. Another month after that, I was asked to take a promotion to the next pay grade and given a massive raise on top of it. Now another month passed and I was finally taken from the department that I started with the company and moved to an easier but faster one. Again, I do my absolute best to be there and put in hella hours to show my gratefulness for the opportunity. We get caught up and stay caught up while I'm at the helm of this department and all my bosses are grinning ear to ear looking at my work. I feel like I'm doing well and they eventually, within weeks, ask me to take another promotion and pay grade bump after a different, more demanding title. Now, we are where I am currently in the job I have now. At first, getting a hang on the timing and pace was very difficult. I was behind constantly and never able to clear my work completely out. Eventually, a couple of months in, I found the rhythm and was able to clean all the workouts and help other departments after I finished. Everyone has been happy for about four months and things are only getting easier and easier for me. So, being caught up to the present, everyone who has come before me for this job has left or been let go. Nobody in my building, let alone the department, knows anything about my job. I have asked over and over to train someone so when I take a vacation, they can help, but it all falls on deaf ears. My head boss left for another facility and probably better pay and was replaced by someone new to the industry and completely unaware of the situation of things and how much or little work was needed, where and when. Last week, Thursday, I had 40 plus hours in and was done with everything my department could do. The new boss said everyone is mandatory for the coming Friday. I'm not hurt or dying because of it, but I am a little sad that I can't hang out with my family or my girlfriend because of the 5 hours minimum we work the next day. I show up knowing my duties are already complete. I start working on the receiving center immediately to help them get caught up more and about 2-3 to three hours in, I get called into the boss's office alone. He sits me down and tells me how much he loves my work and appreciates the time I spend to make sure we all stay ahead. But now he starts in with, I would like to see you in your own department on Fridays rather than with your friends at receiving. I try to tell him that I'm done with everything I can possibly do for the week and that I'm just lending a helpful hand, but he hears none of it and immediately shuts me down. He tells me something I have heard over and over on this sub and I quote, I don't want you doing work outside of your designated title. Your friends have their jobs and you have yours. Before leaving, I asked for that in writing or an email, knowing that leads to other employees were going to harp on me for sitting around all day and getting paid with my feet up. He obliged and I was sent back to my desk. Friday came around and I sat at my desk and texted my family and girlfriend the entire shift. Nothing to do but catch up with people. 
Little needs to be said, but they fell well behind at receiving, and the last few days, we went from waiting for the next semi to being behind on having six trucks waiting on us to find space, and now I refused to move my feet if I was done. My job title was firm in its description, and my boss wanted me to stay in my department with no exemptions. Now, the following Tuesday, I had every lead and manager begging me to ignore the new hotshot and continue to help as they are missing two guys. One quit, and one went to help his wife with their new baby, leaving a sole guy there at receiving by himself. I again just forwarded the email he sent me, being as he is everyone's boss and continue to do my titled duties and nothing but my titled duties. I should also state that I'm transferring departments soon anyway, so I no longer care to help the current state of affairs they have found themselves in. Better boss, better time management, and better overall situation. But I will, for the next two weeks, only do my title job and that alone. Sorry for the wall of text, but I had to share because I'm giddy that it actually happened to me. Well, OP, it sounds like this sub helped you out. I mean, it gave you the tip to get that thing in writing, which actually did help. So good for you, OP, and thanks for sharing. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. Now, if you've gotten to this point in the video, I assume that you like these stories that I'm reading out. So here are a couple more that you might enjoy. And if you don't have any time to watch another story right now, save it for later. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.